Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are in the turbocharged career mode and I'm super excited because today I am now able to complete the mission where we need to haul the thud rockets into about 160,000 meters above Kerbin. So in order to do that, I thought it would be a good idea to upgrade the tracking station. So I've now done that and also the mission control station because once you've done that, then you're able to set uh, maneuver nodes. Before that, it's pretty damn tricky. Alright, so this is the rocket that I've built that is, I think, capable of doing what we need it to do. So, you'll notice it has extraordinary acceleration and there will be a lot of heating up as we go through the thickest part of the atmosphere of Kerbin. But, it's quite a cool little functional rocket. Now, I'm just going to adjust my X-Science thing here place that in the corner and it would be a good idea to take a temperature reading to complete that part of our science 5.6 science is not to be sniffed at this early on now I think we're able to do EVAs as well while we're out uh, in the in the solar system shall we say we're still we're, we're relatively close to Kerbin but uh, we will be enjoying ourselves out there that is for sure now here comes my next stage. So I'm able to now start turning right. I'm going to have to do this quite aggressively. Um, can't really concern myself with gravity turns at the moment. The reason for that is because those solid fuel boosters just boosted me up way fast. So yeah, I've got to start really being quite strict with my turning here. Okay, let me just concentrate a moment. There we go. Now if I take a look at outside here on the uh, map view you can see my apoapsis is now increasing and if I click on it I'm now able to set a maneuver yay all right sweet now I don't really want to lose any of this orbital velocity that we've got just to remind you the contract requires us to orbit and have an altitude of between 160,000 and 170,000 meters there we go that's quite good so I'm gonna reduce my speed now set a maneuver there and I think as long as your periapsis or your apoapsis is at the required height, then you complete the contract. But we'll find out. Let's have a look. All right, let's re just reduce our periapsis. Just a tad. 150,000. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. And now I've got, now the hard part, I've got to get this burn perfect. Uh, you can see we're actually losing speed here, but I've built my rocket with spare Delta V in mind. Not, I don't think I'm skillful enough to actually complete this without doing it this way. So let's see. Let's just take a look at ourselves hovering above the surface of Kerbin. That is quite frankly beautiful. Now, once I have completed this burn, I've just overshot it a little bit, but never mind. We can correct it. Uh, our periapsis is a little high, so let's set a maneuver here again and just reduce that a tad. A bit more than a tad, Riney. bit more than a tad. There we go. I should have really concentrated on that, shouldn't I? Whoopsie! Right, doing this in real time, like I said, is not easy. Now, once I've sorted this uh, altitude out, I am going to EVA and do as much science as I can. We didn't bring the Science Junior with us, only the Mystery Goo. But, that doesn't matter. There we go. That's where we want to be doing our maneuver from. Boost. And what's our altitude now? 166,000. So that should be good, I think. Altitude, it says no. It says we haven't completed it. But, what's our altitude now? Okay, as we dip below yeah now we've completed it sweet all right now we can do the fun stuff let me just see where my guy is let's get him into the light side get him into the daylight so we can see what we're doing look at that beautiful as we pass over Kerbin that is quite spectacular I love it never gets old all right so now we can do a temperature scan again but that's not going to do much good um, I'm going to do the EVA there he is there's Jebediah. He's outside his rocket for the first time. Brilliant. Observation can only be externally controlled by scientists. Aha. Let's just see if we can get any science whatsoever from this. I could have brought an antenna with me, but I didn't really think about it. All right. Well, those mystery goo containers are superfluous. 
Now we want to worry about getting back down to the surface, so I'm just actually going to set a maneuver pretty much where we are and try and get a landing so we land somewhere in the ocean. I think that would be a safe, the safest bet. Okay, let's tilt our rocket to the left here. We've only got a three second burn. How much fuel have we got? Easily enough, I think. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let's fast forward. And here we go. There we go. That'll do me nicely. <laughs> Kerbal Chatterer makes me laugh. All right, let's decouple ourselves from the main rocket and leave that debris out in space for someone else to crash into later on. It'll probably be you, Jeb, so uh, don't get too cocky, mate. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're well out of control. What the hell is going on here? I can't seem to regain any control. There we go. You didn't have sass on, Riney, you big noob. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We want to be pointing retrograde as we plow back through into the atmosphere. Now, I have reduced the ablator on this down to 40 from 200. That way, it increases our delta V. Now, we can get another EVA report while flying high over Kerbin. But that is not going to be possible, I don't think. Seeing as we can't beam back any data, I'm probably wasting a lot of opportunities to get science. But never mind. I'll be just glad if I can complete this contract. That's one thing at a time, Riney. Let's go, not get too carried away. There we go. Look at his face. He looks well happy. He's like, oh, that's heating my feet up lovely. Wait, what's that gap in the, the heat shield? Ah, it's burning my toes off. Oh, God, something blew off. I think that's one of the mystery goo containers. It is. <laughs> Why can't the other one go as well? Jesus Christ. Okay, continue our descent. Look how fast he's going. Something exploded somewhere. I don't know what that was. Maybe his uh, food, food supplies were rattling around inside his craft, maybe. <laughs> there we are. We're so close to completing it, I feel like I should pat myself on the back. Clap, clap, clap. Well done, me. Yay. I didn't even think we'd be able to achieve this mission with this level of technology we've got. But sometimes, Riney surprises himself. It'd be so cool if you could see dolphins and fish inside this ocean. I would love that. All right, touchdown, and Ru and Jebediah. I was going to say Riney, but no, Jebediah, you're safe. Oh, imagine if you could include yourself in this game as an astronaut. That'd be sweet. Okay, 15.3 science earned. We've got 460,000 funds now. Not bad, not bad. And what ne what contract shall we attempt next? Um, we can do some simple ones, like testing the fuel engine at the launch site. That's easy. Test REI-5 Skipper Liquid Fuel Engine Orbiting Kerbin. That sounds kind of cool. Alright, I'm just going to have a little look through here and decide what I want to do. Alright guys, I've decided to uh, test out the Science Hedgehog that we built once again. And you can see I've actually now managed to go all the way down the runway. And the way I've done that was by limiting the thrust on my rocket. I had it at 2. If I can get it to 1, that would be even better. It was going about 13.5 meters per second, which is quite good. Anyway, let's try and take some of this data. So we can get a crew report from the runway. That's 1.5 science. We'll beam that back. Remember, we've got quite a lot of electric charge on this. Nearly 1,450. Uh, we can do an EVA report. So let's get young Jebediah out once more. Oh. That doesn't give us anything. Ah, we need to be on the runway. No, we're not going to do that. We can't get back up to the rocket. Okay, we can take some science, though. So let's log the temperature here. That's 1.2. Uh, atmospheric pressure scan. Oh, yeah, I've now got the bar barometer. Uh, so we can get 1.8 for that. Atmospheric pressure scan. Uh, mystery goo. Yep, definitely want some of that. This is kind of cool. I like my little science hedgehog. Uh, I'm actually going to keep that experiment that only gives me three and we can do a material study here as well now if i had a scientist i'd be able to reset this but i can't so i'm going to just going to do 7.5 now i just want to show you what this rocket actually looks like when i get it going so you can see by limiting the thruster it barely moves so if i better increase that just a tad up to like 2.5 maybe wow well it started off working fine once it was moving Okay, here we go. So let's play around with the thrust limiter. Yeah, now it's working fine. Alright, cool. 
It's barely moving. For some reason it worked really good back there, but this is fine, this is fine. We're just going to drive around, get loads of science. So, that's really weird. Is that a bug? Because I've set it to like maximum. This should work. All right, I'm just going to cut my engine there anyway. There's more crew reports we can do. So, another 1.5 science. EVA report temperature scan. Let's do some more readings. 1.2. Atmospheric pressure scan, we'll use that little module again, which is hidden inside here now. <laughs> there it is, got it. Log pressure data, 1.8. Mystery goo, might as well observe some more Mr. Magoo. Nope, oh, we'll take that one as well for three, a material study. So yeah, let's have another little burn, but essentially I'm just going to go around all the different biomes inside here. You can visit each of these little buildings and get... Um, scientific data from them so I'm gonna do that it's gonna take a little bit of a while at this speed I don't know why it's going so slow but it is but hopefully that'll just keep you up to date with how my uh, science gatherings go and it's really slow early on in the career mode look at that maybe if I just speed up the oh dear speeding up the game engine didn't work <laughs> Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera. It's going to take me ages, but uh, we will be able to get quite a bit of science out of this. So, thank you for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, guys. I'm such a dummy. I had the brakes on. That's why the freaking thing wasn't working. So, now I've got it working. I've got the thrust limiter set to 8, and I've gathered the science up that we just did previously. Now I just need to visit all of these different places. Now if I go too fast, we've seen that the rocket tips over. So we're going to have to go quite slowly here. I wonder if I can speed up the physics engine and not affect it too much. Let's go along this little tiny path here and hope to maintain some sort of stability. Now what's this building over here on the left? Let's go visit that. Alright, I'm just going to slow down a little bit. And can we get there? We're nearly there. Go on, son. Go on, Jebediah. Jebediah's like, what the frick is this? A rocket-powered car? I did not expect to be gathering science like this. This is not what I signed up for. Yeah, sorry, Jeb. I'm uh, not great. <laughs> All right, well, nothing to do over there, so we'll head over here now. Let's try and accelerate with our tiny little bit of boost that we now have. <laughs> I like my little science car. The science hedgehog is away. Go, science hedgehog. Gather all the science you can. Any more science here? Yay! Oh god, brakes, brakes! Brakes! There we go, we've come to a stop. Lovely. <laughs> what building is this? Mission Control. Mission Control? We nearly plowed into you. Thank god we didn't. Let's get a little crew report. Oh, hold on. Review report. Send that back. Now, the all the instruments, apart from temperature, pressure, and crew reports, are now used so they're the only ones we can use and let's get some more pressure data next building where should we head next oh, oh I suppose right there let's go over there let's try and do a little u-turn in my science hedgehog God. oh nearly hit the lamppost <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble with the powers that be Mystery Goo, yeah, we can't do Mystery Goo. Mr. Magoo, we can't do you. Yes, I'm just going to continue visiting the rest of the biomes now, hopefully without incident, and uh, gather up all the science. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. I apologize for being such a noob. I hope you've enjoyed it, though. Uh, take care. Please leave a thumbs up if you have, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.